welcome to you Porterfield Run Farm. We'll be at the South County Seasonal Farmers Market this Saturday starting at 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. The deliveries for Franklin County will start at 11 a.m. and our website will be open from 8 p.m. Thursday through 8 p.m. on Friday so be sure to check that out. Well that's about all the announcements we have for today nothing really too much out of the ordinary so let's go uh, let's go take a look at something. Y'all want to be on camera? Looks like y'all do. I put these guys at the end of the one of the last videos. There's 17 of them. These are our newest laying hens. They probably won't start laying until around July-ish, somewhere around that range as we they were hatched around February. They've been out here on pasture for a while and we're getting ready to move them into a larger structure but they've been happy they've been getting fresh grass every day every day they've had a move as you can see through here we've been trying to fertilize our yard a little bit and it's been working out well I don't know if you can see the color gradient there we've brought down the only completed shelter that we have for uh, larger quantities of birds need to make a few repairs on it Made a few mistakes during the build, nothing too major. But just gotta make a few repairs on this one. And one of the other two that are incomplete is right up here. Have the frame built. Need to make the same modifications to this one that I have on the other one that need to be fixed. And a few other things need to be replaced. Like this wood I've received from uh, local place it's just not any good and knots in it like that piece right there that's probably gonna break as soon as any weight any weight goes on it so to make some other modifications to that it looks like we're not too far away but putting that metal on and that fencing does take time not to mention going through here and building this piece with the door on it which is great for ventilation during the summer that's right that hinge is broken I gotta do some modifications to it and also I built a little spot in here where we can put some luon in here for laying boxes for the laying hens. We've got to get got to get these two completed, get the laying hens out from the barn, get them on pasture so we can get in and clean up their run. And then have time to get them get at least one of these emptied back out for the broilers that will be here at the end of May. So a little bit of a time crunch as long as the weather cooperates will be okay. I can pull one of these inside the garage to work on it, but it takes up quite a bit of space as they are 10 feet by 12 feet. All right, let's go see what's growing in the garden. Actually, I decided to walk up here to the chickens. So let y'all see everything. Uh, as far as Whenever we start to get a little bit of an ammonia smell, we always throw wood chips in here. Kind of acts like a diaper, as Joel Salatin would say. I don't know if you can see right here, but from where we've been continuously adding and adding, we have probably have about two feet worth of uh, bedding, I guess we could call it, right there. So we need to get in here and get all that out of here. So I said it's gonna be a tight window, but I think we can make it happen. Let's say they've got a little bit of molting going on as well. Better this time of year than during the winter, that's for sure. All right, now let's go down to the garden. All right, here we are in the garden now. Lots of spinach through here. It's not looking the greatest. Hopefully the weather will cool out a little bit to help promote their growth. You can kind of see a similar thing is happening with the spinach over here as well. Lots of seedlings. Even kind of a little bit difficult to see with that particular type of lettuce sorry one of these days I'll get to putting these I'll get to putting them back on just had a lot going on recently I'm just trying to keep up with it nothing super major just things kind of popping up here and there actually let's spin around this way looks like we were able to harvest a little bit more off of these green butter there pretty good look at what's happening the beets are coming along quite well and then more of these seedlings all through here for the lettuce 
a little bit of interplanting here. There's the Swiss chard. Some people have been enjoying that. Alrighty, let's go down to the next garden. Paper pot transplanter. You can kind of see a little bit more of the system there. Looks like we have insect netting off of these crops down here. There's a little bit of the Hakurai turnips. Looks like we have some pretty good sized radish there. Appears to be anyway. Oh yeah, massive. Looks like they may have gone a little bit too far. Or those might be, hey, you know what? I think those are purple top turnips. I think that's what they are. Could be mistaken. I did not look at the map. All kinds of stuff growing through here. These are going out to seed. Some of the broccolini. And more lettuces. Ah, there's some radish over there. All right, so we'll have a little bit of radish again this time. Tell you the broccolini has been popular it's been pretty nice we've really put a lot of effort into trying to make that a product that we could bring to the markets and even to the stores for that matter so as of this moment we, as of this moment that's the most successful we've been with everything well guys that's about it down here we greatly appreciate it we'll see y'all out at the market and uh, hopefully we'll get the store stocked up hopefully uh, Sunday by the latest. Y'all have a good one.